Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with another Dead Cells video. Following with the rune guide, this is the fifth and final rune known as the Spider Rune, one of the most important ones, but also the most difficult to get. And in order to get it, we will need some of the other runes, including the Vine and Ram rune. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way through the first area and then use the Vine to exit out of the toxic sewers. Go through the toxic sewers, and instead of exiting through the ramparts, you need to exit through the ancient sewers. Make your way through the ancient sewers into the insufferable crypt, where you will fight a boss named Conjunctivius. Now, this boss can be quite difficult, and your natural instinct may be to try to keep your distance from him and use range attacks. However, I found that the best strategy was to try to get nice and close, slow him down with some ice, and use sword attacks. Now, upon beating this boss, you will unlock a whole bunch of dead cells as well as some new blueprints. But you'll also be able to exit out of this area into a new area called the Slumbering Sanctuary. And it's in the Slumbering Sanctuary where you're actually able to unlock the Spider Rune. So this area is quite difficult. You're definitely going to need to take your time working through the areas, watching out for the invisible enemies, and killing the Fog Priest dudes in order to see the enemies and where you're going. For a lot of them, it's actually easier to just skip them entirely instead of fighting them You know, as you come across them. But as you explore this area, you will eventually find a banner with a red skull on it that leads into a pit where you're able to fight an elite orb caster. Now, you probably already know the next step. The next step is to defeat this elite orb caster and they will grant you with the spider rune. This battle can be quite difficult, especially if you rely heavily on the wolf trap and the turret, as the orb caster does not get caught in the wolf trap, and the turret tends to focus on these little tatty bangers that he spawns instead. You might actually find that you have an easier time using ranged attacks, but you definitely want to make sure that you're rolling towards him and not away from him, or double jumping over his orbs. They cause a lot of damage, and rolling away from them is not an effective tactic. Eventually, when he goes down, he should spawn a couple of dead cells, as well as an unknown artifact. When you pick that up, it will obviously reveal itself as the spider rune, which allows you to wall climb and wall jump, as you see on screen. And this is an incredibly useful ability to have. It lets you get access to a whole bunch of new areas. For example, I believe in the ramparts, if you find an area that allows you to wall climb out, you'll be able to get access to the prison depths, which is an area only accessible with the spider rune. You're also able to completely skip some areas. You can actually skip uh, a boss battle, for example. And after the first boss battle, in instead of going to the stilt village, you're actually able to go straight through to the slumbering sanctuary and take a different route you're even able to grab a gardener's key that you wouldn't be able to grab um, and then that will unlock the explosive bolt or explosive crossbow i'll have a separate video for that uh, if you're interested thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was helpful special thanks to the amazing people on patreon for making it possible and hopefully i see you guys next time peace